I would like to show you now how to work with geo documents. You will first add a geo document, new geo document. Here it is. Now you have the option of renaming this document because by default the name is new geo document, but you may want to give to it a more descriptive name. In that case, you go to the document manager and select the name of the document, rename, and let's call this cities where I have lived. Rename. I will write a comment. Here I will I will identify and describe the cities where I have lived uh, since 2000, let's say. The document has been uh, renamed and you have written, or I have written really, a comment uh, describing the nature of this document. Now I have to navigate to specific locations. Now, uh, currently uh, what you have to do is you have to use the mouse or the touchpad in order to navigate to locations. But in the near future, we will be able to actually specify a location and then the software will, will take you to that specific location. Let me start by navigating to Rio de Janeiro, uh, the city where I lived. I will zoom, zoom in to Rio and here I will zoom in to the street where I used to live. And I found it. Here it is. So now I will click on the location and I will code it. I will attach to it a code that I created earlier that says home. It's called home. I will drag this code and drop it onto this, this pointer here. And a quotation was created. And that quotation is now connected to the code home. I can right click on the quotation and edit comment, write a comment on that. Live wonderful years. And I will add uh, a, an image, a picture. I will insert a picture. And here it is. Save and close. So that is the first the first location that I wanted to identify. And now I will zoom out and I will navigate to Santiago, Chile, where I also lived in the past. So I will navigate to a specific location here and I will locate precisely in this location here and I will attach the home code. I will right click on that geo quotation, edit comment. I also live in Santiago. And I will insert an image of the city. save. I have also lived in Tampa, Florida, in Greenville, North Carolina, and now in Corvallis, Oregon. So I created quotations for each one of these locations. So if I zoom out, now I see that I have uh, geolocation, geo quotations created in Rio de Janeiro, 
in Santiago, in Tampa, in Greenville, and in Corvallis, Oregon. Now, one thing that you can do is rename those quotations. If you go to the quotation manager, you will see that each quotation is identified by the coordinates. But you may want to change that uh, and give the quotations a more descriptive name. So here we are. This is Rio, Santiago, Tampa, Corv Greenville, and Corvallis, Oregon. So what I will do is I will rename each one of them Rio, Santiago, Tampa, Greenville, Corvallis. And you will see below the preview, the actual map, and the comment that you wrote in association to each one of these geo quotations. What can we do uh, besides creating this uh, quotations, uh, assigning a code to them, uh, commenting them, renaming them. You can also visualize the work that you have done in a graphical representation. Let's take a look at the code home and let's open the network of that code. Here it is. We have to insert the quotations that have been connected to that code. Import neighbors, import quotation neighbors. Let's visualize this, change the layout. So that is the code home that has been used with the following quotations, Rio, Corvallis, Tampa, Santiago, and Greenville. You can also hyperlink these quotations in order to represent the temporal dimension. In what city did I live first, second, third, fourth, and fifth? And to do this, you will select one quotation, Rio, drag and drop it onto the second one, and select the relation that I created earlier that is called precedes. Then I will select the Santiago quotation, drag and drop it onto the Tampa quotation, and select precedes. So I am, I am making these uh, connections, these semantic linkages between quotations in the quotation manager. However, I can also do this in the actual document. So let me show this to you here. And now I will pick up this quotation, which is Tampa, and I will drag and drop it onto the other one, that is Greenville, with the, and I will use the relation precedes. And I will drag and drop from the margin the Greenville quotation and I will, I will drag it and drop it onto the Corvallis one. So now all of these geo quotations have been connected semantically one with the other in an effort to represent uh, graphically what is the order of these different places where I have lived. Now you can examine these quotations in a graphical representation uh, so that you can see clearly what location comes before what location. Uh, to do that, you can go to the Quotation Manager. And here, select the quotations. 
and click Open Network. Layout. And let's find the layout that fits our needs the best. And what I want to have here is a linear representation. So I don't think this is the best one. This could be Rio is on top, Santiago, Tampa, Greenville, Corvallis. I can change the routing, a polyline, organic, straight. I think that a polyline is good enough. No. No. I like this. This is lineal, this is perfect for me. So Rio goes first, Santiago, Tampa, Greenville, Corvallis from left to right. Before I say goodbye, I would like to remind you what I explained earlier, that in the near future, we will be able to uh, navigate to a specific location uh, by browsing browse geolocation this is not yet uh, enabled but will be enabled soon and that will mean that uh, by pressing there you will be able to ask the software to take you to a specific address for example a specific location so that will facilitate things but as, uh, as it is now you can do a lot of work uh, just by using the mouse and the touchpad but of course we are lacking some specificity. Thank you very much. Bye.